is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions Beats and Feasts. Hey guys, today we're going to do a video that if you follow me for a little while, you know every once in a while I find a product that's worthy of doing an unboxing or maybe doing a product review. But today I think I found it. So I've always wanted to turn my oven top, or my range top I guess you could call it, into a whole flat griddle like you would see at a restaurant, like a uh, flat top grill. I've always wanted to do that because you can get the most out of the surface then at that point. And you can cook out damn near anything on it. So, today we found it. It's called Steel Made. Made in America, guys. So, um, I bought this. I wanted to give it a try. I am also now an affiliate for Steel Made. So, I'm going to leave a link down in the description if you guys go to their website you purchase a product for from them and you use my affiliate code I think it gives you 10% off but um, go check this out stillmade.com but we're gonna do the o opening and the unboxing of, of this I have not seen this so we're gonna see this together I'm also gonna have a couple other videos here in the next two uh, maybe week week and a half of um, cooking on this so hey guys let's without further ado let's go ahead and get this uh, this thing open now the first thing I noticed right away, this is not light. It's about 30 pounds. So it's not light. You can see I'm not a little, little guy. And it takes a little bit to get this up. So just to pick it up. So we're going to try to unbox this here real quick. Got my handy dandy razor blade. I'm just going to cut it down here. Oh man, I feel like a kid at Christmas. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So they got it all wrapped up here. Comes with the little instructions on how to set it up, how to clean it, how to use it. So the first thing I got to do, I know when I get this on top of my stove, is I'm going to have to um, temper it or season it. Which you have to do with pretty much any steel product, a, a pan or whether it be a wok or whatever. But uh, it comes with some nice little instructions for you how to season it, how to set it up, how to use it, how to clean it. So, very simple unboxing. So it comes with a drip tray here. There we go. <laughs> comes with a drip tray. Let me get to the uh, actual piece here. They got it wrapped up all nice. So like I said, it is not light. Let's discard that. So, as you can see it here, it basically just sits on the grill, on the top of the stove. It looks like it comes a little bit pre-oiled. I got oil all over my hands. I'm going to take this drip tray out. And you can see here's the holes for the grease and the oil to go into the drip tray. So, I'm assuming that this drip tray, well, I'm not assuming anything. I looked at a couple videos. goes underneath of it. Kind of like that. So when it sits up off the eyes, it'll sit up like that. Oh man, I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited about this. I mean, you can see this. Now, when you season it, from what I can tell, you're going to need, um, they say the best thing to season this with is with bacon. So they say that they use like maybe a, a pound, pound and a half, maybe two pounds of bacon and they get the grease all over it. The grill will actually start to turn very, very dark. Um, and that's when it starts to get seasoned. So the best way to season it is to cook on it. So I am gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up for us. I think I'm gonna like this. It's not heavy, it's not too heavy to the point where you can't maneuver it, but it's a nice piece of steel. And it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be nice. You can tell that it's very well made, made in the USA. And like I said, I'm going to leave my link below in the description. So, if you guys want to purchase this, go ahead and go to their website, purchase it. You'll get 10% off. Tell them Big Tone sent you. <laughs> but anyway, they'll know that from the code. But, uh, hey guys, this is the unboxing. It's very simple. But um, I think we're going to like this. As you can see, I've got my griddle on my grill on the actual stovetop. It fits absolutely perfect, guys. So... I'm following the directions here, so this is an unboxing and trying for the first time. 
and we're also going to be seasoning it. So, according to the directions, it has a little bit of a, a film on it, so you have to scrub it off. So, it says just use regular water and scrub it with a nylon pan of some, or scrubber of some sort. So, I'm going to scrub it down here real good. There we go, and it tells me to dry it off with a rag or some sort. So I'm going to dry it real good. Alright, so there, from that point, look at what came off of that. There you go, guys. So you will get, it does tell you you're going to get a bit of a gray film on it that's going to come off. So, from that point, we need to temper it, it says. So it tells you to, er, to turn each one of your eyes on. So I'm going to turn this eye here to about in between two and three. And I'm going to turn this eye the same thing. And then this eye, and then this eye. So we're gonna, it says let it sit for about 10 minutes. Let it get up to temperature at that point. And then we're going to place, or we're going to rub some oil on it using some tongs and some paper towel. I've had the oven on, or the stove on for about 10 minutes. It's getting pretty hot. So I'm going to pour some oil in here. It's a little bit of oil. And be careful with this. It says coat it with the paper towel, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And just get oil all over the whole surface. There we go. All right, we got the whole surface covered with oil. Now, the, the stuff that you see coming off the, the grill there, the grayish color, now that is perfectly safe, they, stayed, they stated. So don't be alarmed by that, it's perfectly safe. It's gonna eventually come off and you're gonna see the grill turn a real dark black or brownish color is where it's gonna temper it. I've got the, the grill totally covered in oil. And I do suggest that you guys purchase one of these if you get the grill. They have them at uh, Still Made. I don't know the prices. I think they're like $15 or something. I got this from Amazon a while ago. So this is basically an infrared heat gun that you can tell exactly what your temperature is. So I'm going to place it here. Right now it's reading right around 267 degrees. So they say bring it up to temperature about 350. So we got a little ways to go. So we're going to let it temper a little bit longer here, guys. I'm going to move, turn all both of my eyes, or all four of my eyes up to halfway. I've had the grill on here for probably about another 10 minutes or so. As you can see, the brown spots, spots are starting to appear where the eyes are, are at. So I've taken my gun here, placed it right at it. We're kicking at 350. Well, 340 on this eye. This one's kicking here about 390 actually. This back one here, same temperature, about 390. That one's doing about 350. So as you can imagine, if I place the gun here in the middle, it's going to be a little cooler. So as you're looking at around 200 degrees there in the middle. So as like on a regular flat top in the in the in any type of restaurant situation there's going to be hot spots and there's going to be dead spots so this is actually going to work out really great when you want your food to cook really uh quickly and efficiently you put it on the heat spot heat spots when you don't you want to keep it warm and put it in the middle and then it'll stay warm for you and it won't overcook so this is turning out great so i'm gonna let it sit here for another five or ten minutes let it temper a little bit more. And that, they say don't take it above 350, 375. So that's where we're going to leave it at. We're going to leave the oven on for the stove on for just a little bit more. And um, I'll come back and I'm going to cook a few things on it. Okay, guys? Starting to get the nice little burns there. Starting to temper really nicely. It's been on for about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to test it out with a couple hamburgers. Woohoo! Sizzle as soon as you put it on. I'll be damned, I feel like I'm in a restaurant. 
But now this is actually wonderful, guys. Look at look look at this. This is gonna get even better the longer it cooks and the more the cook time it tempers. It's gonna leave that film on it that is gonna get blacker, darker, more seasoned. Over here on this other eye, I got some onions here. And I'm gonna grill up some uh, some multicolored peppers here, some yellow, red, spread them out across the grill here. <laughs> My bell peppers and onions. Ah, they're frying up nicely, boys. Put a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Look how look how they're caramelizing there. Oh man. I'm gonna let those cook. I've added a few pieces of bacon. About four pieces of bacon, some Italian sausage over here, and they're cooking up nicely. Look at those things. Oh man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn down the heat on them just a little bit. Maybe cooking a little too fast. And then I put some cheese on the hamburger and I move my my uh, peppers here in the middle just to keep them warm and they'll continue to cook to where I want them at. But my bacon's still rendering down, cooking up nicely. Hamburgers are about done. Only thing I can say is you gotta make sure you control your temperature on here depending on what food you're cooking. But if you got grill experience, you should have no problems with this. This grill is actually, for the first try out, beautiful. Look how many things I got on it. Cooking it up nicely. So, my peppers are done. My Italian sausage is done, so I'm going to take these off, put them right here on my plate. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm grab my peppers. Put them right over top. And they stay right there in the cool spot of the middle of the grill, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. All on a flat top. They say it's easy cleanup, but that looks like a mess. But I'm gonna take my handy dandy scraper here. Turn off this oven here. Scrape it up. The grease catcher is right underneath of that. I'm just going to gently put it over there so you can catch all the grease. Just like that. Now, this black and this dark patina that is there, that's what you want. It's nice and seasoned. Get some of the residue out of the way so I can get the grease down there. Just like that. I'll pick the rest of it up with paper towel. I, I really, really like this thing. Um, the one thing I can say about it is it's not, of course, no grill is splatter resistant, but you're going to have to clean up once. Things are going to start to splatter. That would be the same in a frying pan. It's just elevated a little bit more here with the grill. But hey, guys, if you like this video and you like this grill, my link will be in the description for my affiliate link. Go to the website, stillmade.com, and then you'll get 10% off with my affiliate link. And that will be in the description. It will also be on the screen here. But hey, guys, if you like this, this video, I don't see what's the point of stopping you from getting it. So, um, hey guys, if you like the video, this is Big Tone signing off. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. This is Big Tone signing off. Peace.